She's a certified 20. Boom. And he goes, and he goes, two. Boom. And he makes 20. And you were like, and I was like, Hello, hello. I'm Dana. Welcome to Words That Move Me. This week is, I say it all the time, but I'm genuinely stoked that you're here because I love sharing conversations uh, with people that I love and admire. And today's guest, Max Pham, is a person who has become family. I admire his work. I admire his work ethic. I admire the way he shows up for himself, his friends, a very thoughtful person with a lot of great thoughts to share. Specifically, today we are talking about touring, audition mentality, um, life on the road, life finding balance, navigating the in-between space between dancer and other. Um, we really go in on some big, important concepts. So I want to get right to it, but first we're going to celebrate some wins. I start every episode with wins. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh, no. I, th I thought she was going to have a big victorious jump up onto the chair. She's chilling. Today I am celebrating having booked a trip, a solo girl's trip to Europe. I'm going to Madrid and to Paris and for not nearly long enough, but I booked the flights. It is happening. I have carved out the time, cleared the calendar, and that is a huge win for me. That's what's up in my world. What are you celebrating? How have you cleared space for yourself? Uh, hit me. Um, Congratulations. I'm so glad that you're winning. Riz and I are thrilled for you, and she is thrilled to be licking the ever-loving love out of my elbow pit right now. Who does that? Who just gets that into the elbow pit? Focus. We're focused. This conversation with Max Fam is solid gold. We talk a, a lot about the thoughts and the feels that get us through, so I hope this episode is as useful for you as it was enlightening for me. Without any further ado, enjoy the one and only Max Fam. Oh my God, I know what it's gonna be. <laughs> That'll make sense in a second. Welcome to the podcast, Max Fam. Oh Damn. my God. Uh, longtime friend, part time dance partner. We have not dance partnered nearly as much as I would like for us to dance partner. Yeah, this is very true. Can I voice that t to you and you and the universe? Dancing with you is a treat. Being your friend is an even sweeter treater. Thank you for being here today. Likewise. Thank you. It's been um, a long time coming. Excited, it has. Excited yeah, to know. finally be here. We've Yeah, we've tried to do this a few times, and yeah. then you were away for a while, and then you couldn't talk about a certain dance competition for a while. Mm. And uh, now you're here and able to talk now about all, all the things. Now it's all out on the floor. Let's talk shop. Yeah. Tradition on the podcast, and this is for better or for worse. I really love this part. The person in your seat usually hates this part. Introduce yourself. Tell us what you want us to know about you. I guess this is open-ended, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do this uh, for an hour. Introduce myself. Yes. My name is Max Pham. Uh, I am uh, a kid, dude. From Boise, Idaho, um, small town. Happy to be here, you know, and a work in progress. Oh my God. You know, and forever a student of, yeah, just life. Whoa. Yeah. Let's start. A cancer. Let's start. You are. A big, a big, I would say like a, a significant part of my being. I'm coming to learn a fe that you're not, a feeler. Not to be so astrological. Right. I was, I almost got kicked out of a birthday party recently for voicing that I don't really believe in astrology, mm. but I also just did a podcast with Robert Green and he's a cancer also. Mm. And we talked about it mm. and I, listen, I don't not believe in it and I don't actively believe in it, Yeah. but I do know about myself cause I also, I'm on the cusp of cancer and Leo. Oh, which birthday? July 21st. Okay. Oh, you are the cusp. Like, I'm the cusp, yeah. yeah. And I I very much have the spotlight thing, the lion, the show, mm -hmm. but I try to be tough on the outside. I am soft. Soft shell crab. Yeah, soft shell crab. <laughs> but girl. also, 
carry my home on my back. Yeah. And I think is one of the things that make us well suited for tour mm. is this ability to kind of be comfortable mm. and at home wherever we are. Do you find that to be yeah. true? Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So we did um, the Man of the Woods tour together ish. Mm. I was a stay at home swing. Mm -hmm. Was that your first world tour before that point? Uh, no. Third. Help me. Oh, Third. no big deal. Not to, I, mean, uh, I just didn't do yeah. my homework is all. Oh. No, no, that was, yeah, that was my first one uh, with Justin. And yeah. even that one, that one only went like uh, US and Europe. We didn't go anywhere else. Oh, okay, okay. You know, so it was a United, yeah, United States and Europe tour. Which, yeah, and I, I did the two previous ones with Ariana before. That's right, that's yeah. right. And do you feel that it's a natural way for you to be? Could you sustain that? Is that a lifestyle that you want to have forever? I know uh, a lot of dancers, like, tour is it. That's what, that's the dream gig. I mean, I will quickly jump to answering that because that's a big part of the last four years of my life, mm -hmm. was, is I think I would answer that as no. Mm -hmm. Because that's a, there was a reason uh, I, I came to learn that it it was it became increasingly difficult yeah um because at that point like when we had started man of the woods um i was on the back of doing two like, massive massive two bigger tours. tours with ari and like even and and before ari i did like a small tour so it kind of like rolled three tours before that Oof. and in between the two ari tours was like a pr was a promo run mm -hmm. significant amount of time doing like promotional before she drops an album then mm -hmm, does a mm -hmm, tour mm -hmm. you know so she's doing one-offs and all these different like you know and that radio was like, shows promo that was stuff. like before she had like blown 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 up you know and so she was like working you were with her for that that's so cool yeah yeah and like and i loved it mm -hmm. and I, I loved every minute of it like it i got to see the world and like you know and I started to kind of just like buy into that like part of myself, and I found a lot of, a lot of my identity like in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and then fast forward to Justin, which was kind of like the cream to uh, cream of the crop, you know, like the just everything that Tops. we had set out for, yeah. just as like like practitioners and like fans of this subculture. <laughs> yeah this jt marty yeah like intersection the, of the world the thing that like you love so many things about it and you aspire to be so many things that like that it like portrays mm -hmm. uh and then come Ooh, like to what find like what like what just like a, the cool cool the it's cool. cool it's he's the king cool. of cool yeah it's cool the cool like and and sexy without classy, putting it on yeah classy, yeah, classy like, you know timeless human a showman, yeah, like a professional, yeah, yeah, like a pro professional entertainer. I don't think, yeah, his is is a showboaty, one like, of a few, you know, all right? the, all of the things that like you deserve to feel, yeah, and deserve to like that. I think, I, I wished every human could like feel at one point in their life is like, like because everybody's fucking cool. Or, <laughs> you can, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Yes. Every, every, everybody's cool, you yes. know? And I, and cool is like, cool is just like a state of mind, you know? Like, and, and nobody does it like they do it. Like Marty and Justin and everything that Marty's created. Like, nobody does it the way he did it, yeah. you know? And, That's well said. You know? And so to like get there and to like, you know, uh, get close to it and still be looking at it from the outside and then get inside of the machine and mm -hmm. then, and then to feel, how amazing it is to be a part of like, like a family the family yeah. yeah and like you know and these are people that i consider my family yeah. um family um nice <laughs> good call back but being gone for so long like i just felt displaced i hadn't <laughs> i didn't know what my identity was like where was i go you know like yeah. just being who on am the road. i yeah what's like, next you know like if relationships family like i miss out on so much and like especially uh, you know, I, I didn't even grow up in like a, an environment where like we, it was like, we were programmed to like even be present for mm. things and events. Like my family doesn't put a lot of weight on that, mm. but I just, I just like was missing things. Like I just missed like a different experience. Like, you know, because the part of touring that I experienced, like you, you do it long enough that you think that like that is you like yeah. the traveling is you and like yeah. getting paid to go on flights is you yeah. and like people paying for your hotel rooms is you and like as a career yeah i hope that i have that for as long as i possibly can uh -huh. but also there's an, the other side to it where it's like you as dana wilson or me as max max fam win 
Like, if I want to go somewhere, I actually have to pay for it. Right. You know, like I actually have to like book oh and like, my God, you know, you're reminding me, I don't yet have a place to stay. I'm going to Paris mm. <laughs> and I just, I'm taking myself on a solo trip Amazing. to Europe I, and I don't have a place to stay in mm. Paris because I was going to stay with a friend and then things happened. Mm. Um, so yeah, at, at the, at the bottom line of our humanness, we have to do all that. But in our career, it gets, it just gets done. Yeah. It's done. And, and I, that's the hardest part or that was the hardest part about like, I think like coming off of like the tours and like, I, I think that's like the, in the intersection of like the identity crisis, like once you finish something so grand, so mm -hmm. grandiose and so like, so luxurious and like catered to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you come back down into your reality. And like, if your reality, like if you're like me and just didn't have like the foundation that like you wish you would have, like as a person too, mm -hmm. like um, you, you, you have to then begin to stumble after yeah. like after being like picked up and carried for so many years yeah. like and then falling and scraping your elbow yeah doesn't feel as good when you haven't done it in so many years totally you know so great um, analogy i don't even know how i got there that was wonderful i was asking about touring mm -hmm. and if that's a thing you see yourself doing or could do for a long period of time i don't think it's natural mm -hmm. i don't think it's humane even mm -hmm. in some ways i think a lot of our um human identity uh shows up and maybe this is just this is my privileged experience of the idea of home i think a lot of people's home is the city they grew up in or their block or whatever but for me it's always been like my space the walls around me and what i keep in them and mm. who i bring into them and on tour you're going from a bunk which is a coffin basically mm. and the 12 other people sharing it with you are all sharing the same like single use salts and single use peppers and, um, you know, whatever food was available in that city that was kind of similar ish to what you had asked for and kind of just not your stuff and not your people. And then there's the, the hotel environment, which is designed, I think, to be faceless, mm. right? Like mm. it doesn't have your photos on the wall. It mm. doesn't have your partner's shoes by the door. Mm. It doesn't have all of those things that make a house a home. Mm. And I think that's what makes hotels really nice to get away to every now and yeah, then. Like absolutely. clean slate, yeah. not my life, whatever. A different reality, different world. But when you don't have the thing to check back into, yeah, it can be like fully dehumanizing, very awkward. Yeah. Um, I miss elements of it. Yeah. I definitely miss the stage. I miss performing. Do you have dreams like JT tour dreams? I have, I have, more often than not, I have nightmares. Uh, I yeah, occasionally I do. Like you don't know the moves. Everybody's rehearsed and like dressed and ready. Uh, and you're not like, really that. Not really oh that. Oh god, like, all the time. Like like I'll like I'll see Cody sometimes like in my dream. <laughs> like I'll be like, what's up, Cody? It will be some you know we'll be like be in that space you know. Yeah yeah. Um, but I run. But I'll, I want to go back because ironically to your question, do you miss it? Uh -huh. Um, yes, of course I kind of do. And ironically, like we finished the tour in 2019 mm -hmm. and ironically like less about two weeks ago uh i auditioned for i haven't auditioned at all like after we got off a tour i've been in pursuit of like it just felt like a natural thing that i like just felt called to do was basically like kind of like start erasing dancer and start scribbling in like something else mm -hmm. right like and and four years later now it's 2023 mm -hmm. uh Plop a pandemic there and in well, the and amidst the pandemic, amidst like pursuing like a globally syndicated like choreographer based like TV show and all these different things, and you understand what it means to like actually deem yourself uh, a creative or choreographer or host or something other than just like working dancer. Yeah. Um, ironically, like two two and a half weeks ago, I auditioned for uh, Tanache tour. Yeah. Uh, ended up booking it, <gasps> and it was on the on the whim like. Audition was 7 p.m. I didn't leave my spot till 6:55, because it was really it was, it was, I, I I'm I'm sure you can kind of like put yourself in my shoes and like imagine like the amount of like reflection, uh huh, like like you know because once you sort of like disembark from like dancer journey and embark on like choreographer creative journey, there's almost like no sense of like turning back because of so many different reasons like financially uh uh respectfully like where you are on the totem pole physically physically body -wise. all of those things and i've been walking around and i've been like telling some of my friends and my lady like 
um, like I've been walking around feeling like I'm retired. Huh. Like I'm 32, right? Like, and arguably like per shape per, of best shape per of life. human existence. Like I'm in prime mode, mm-hmm. but like I, I've noticed for four years, I've been just like telling myself that like, I'm like 45. Wow. Like some like something else. You have, like, have really aged yourself yeah, in like, these beliefs. Oh, I gotta like I can't do this anymore. Like wow. you know like and and some days I know why. Some days I sometimes I don't. And then like this opportunity comes by, and I'm just like drawn to do it. And like but I'm literally sitting at my kitchen table like like wanting to go and then sitting down like wow, wow. because I just really want like because I've, it's not for the money. It's not for the glory. Mm-hmm. Like you know because because the glory was had and that was all I, that was what I wanted at a certain point in time yeah. was you want to be on stage. You want to yeah. do all these things, but yeah. like, you know, like I'm sitting in my kitchen, like, will this make me happy? You know, like embarking on this and then, and being uh, reporting to a new, uh, a new like superior and yeah. like a different structure than yeah. like, yeah. I, I was actually talking to Ivan earlier about, about this. Like, you know, we've been living in Marty's world for so long mm-hmm. and it's comfortable we know the fam. We know mm-hmm. the jokes. We you know, know the to, house rules. We know house rules. You can like jump back and play cornhole, like you know. But we we get shit and, and done. And Marty's house rules are very relaxed. Yes, house rules, absolutely. By the way. <laughs> you know, and like, and it like for, in many ways, the sense of the word, like it doesn't get much better than that. Like I hear it's that. like that's my life. Like I hear that's that. like I hope I get to do life with these like with you people mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. You know, like I hope that these are like lifelong things. Yeah. You know, and I noticed myself in a way like. I etched out any other opportunity like outside of that, just weirdly subconsciously, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and in then, the background and then end up at this like crossroads, like five minutes before an audition. I just like get up and go in the car, pop over and like, just, I'm like, let me just go have fun. Like, yeah, because, you know, because the, where I'm at in life and yada, yada, yada. And ironically it ended up being like such a rewarding experience, um, to be in the room and to gain that perspective again, Um, and it was like, actually like my brother that like my brother and Arden that helped kind of get like, put me back in my, in my body. Like my brother who obviously has known me my whole life Mm -hmm. and who I haven't spoken, you know, I, we have our whatever relationship, but Mm -hmm. like, um, we've reconnected recently and like, and he was like, just accept that like your role is different now. Like it doesn't need to be the same. Like you are, I've been here for 10 years, Uh you know? And he's like, you've been here 10 years, be that guy. You know, like, that guy that's been there for 10 years. Yeah. Like, like, you know, like I draw so many parallels to sport, uh-huh. like, you know, as, as you know, like yeah, being tennis. an athlete my whole life. Um, and every basketball, LeBron James been in the, in the basketball in NBA 21 years yeah. playing with somebody that just got drafted. Right. Yes, so like, yes. he has to take a size of humble pie and he yes. has to still adapt to whatever, you know, to the overall like uh, median age and experience of what the team is. Uh-huh. Right. He can't he can't just walk around knowing uh, only living in like 21 21 year mode he has to fluctuate you know and that was really really humbling and quite refreshing to kind of experience yeah to have pride in like being a a dancer again you know parallel yeah um so yeah that was really interesting what did arden have to say arden by the way arden flint previous podcast guest will link to her episode because oh you did a podcast with her yes not not in video format she Mm. was a guest of ours when we were audio only Mm. and i just i'm such a big arden fan i can't say enough so just go listen to that episode and i'll gush about her in the episode Mm. yeah uh, she was encouraging of you yeah she's like she's she's like my uh, my sister yeah like you know and we've gotten so close you guys are years. such a great dance partnership yeah it yeah. is a, an yeah, amusement put, park to watch you yeah, guys together yeah, she like i've i don't think i've ever met anybody that's as capable yeah dude say it that's like, it that's it of like doing the stuff that like i like i aim to do yeah and some yeah and who's like also is ballsy yeah uh and well informed well educated well well informed very versatile yes like identity like character driven like just all the things you know like and so intelligent yeah so smart yeah and fun yeah outside of art and appreciation day over here yeah yeah um that Um, it makes sense that she would encourage you towards dance period in any medium whether that be to be teaching which she is supportive in you 
teaching, in choreographing, in dancing, if that should be your choice. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Well, ironically, she also invited me, like, she personally invited me to go uh, to Doja Cat audition, Mm -hmm. like, just because she knows me and she knows, like, that it might spark something. And And I ended up, and I did, you know, and... Yeah, so, yeah, she's just so super encouraging and, like, just on my side no matter what, like, you know. Psychologically, can you give me a sampler platter of some of the thoughts that ran through your mind at the Tanache audition? Uh, it, it, I was talking to myself the lot of self-talk, time. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, do uh-huh. you, like, why am I here? Do I belong here? I don't know anybody in this room. Oh, my gosh, that one? I don't know why not knowing people scares me so much. It's just uncomfortable. Like, yeah. Because you know, could because you at one point knew everybody in the room. Right, and know? that gave me a sense of belonging. Yeah. If I know people here, I belong yeah. here. And when you don't, you feel like, oh, maybe this is not for me. Yeah, but like, and the, and I had accepted that I was going to be in that room, mm-hmm. um, and, uh, you know, so like amidst kind of like my clashing mentally and with myself. Like I arrived at the point, like the the bottom line was like I just want to get down. Nice, because it'd been so, it's been that. so long. Enough yeah, it's this. been so I long just, since like, I just busted. Yeah. you know, just like let me play some music, like run that run that shit. Like let me teach go. me some choreography for free. Yeah, let me stand. I'm gonna freak it exactly like how nobody up. in this room will freak it. You know, definitely. Like, oh, and, I wish I could have seen this. And it it was just fun. It was just Amazing. fun. Like it, it it felt like what it used to feel like. You know. Which is that's I hope that never leaves, you know, let's talk about it. Let's talk about never retiring from dance. Mm. I talk about her probably in every episode. I'm sorry if you're Mm. a religious listener and you're tired of hearing me talk about Tony Basil. I won't stop. So you can just find Mm. another dance podcast to listen to. (laughs) She came last night to watch class. She's 80 years old. Wow. And uh, I, I make my way down to visit her and dance with her as often as I can. Once a week, sometimes twice a week, if Mm. she's really like. Feeling proactive it. about about me coming over she's like bring your dog <laughs> oh really and I'm like to dance she's like well of course we'll dance but i need to see your dog that's Anyways, awesome she that's so cool. she has i think you also i did want to circle back to this trust me she's the expert on this shit she's seen it all mm. she knows everyone she is an expert on dance but there is something to always being a student mm. and always being training and always loving dance mm that I think she's such a great example of, and I think you and I are well on our way towards, which is this balance of always evolving. Mm. So never trying to be 21 again. Mm. I'm not pretending Mm. that that's the destination I want. I would love to show up as Tony Basil in a room full of 20 somethings Mm -hmm. and just smile Mm -hmm. and let them do all the hard shit and Mm -hmm. let me modify and, and, you know, be whatever it is that she is, which is simply legendary Mm -hmm. that type of maturity has always been attractive to me Mm. and i think it's possible that right now we are somewhere in this in between Mm. where we feel like we haven't earned the legendary status to just like drop in on wherever we want to be but also we're not spring chickens anymore Mm -hmm. and dancing like the way they be dancing is not attractive to me all the time Mm -hmm. so yeah it's this navigating the the now yeah i i think it's i think it's i've learned and noticed uh or observed that like it's also imp- really crucial like like the 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 who and what mindsets you surround yourself by yeah. around too yeah. like because i realized that a lot of like my thinking was sort of like uh influenced like peer influenced yeah, yeah. by just like random voices that i like listen to around you know mm-hmm. people that like have perspective on like going backwards you know Mm -hmm. like whereas like you know if you're friends with tony basil she loves this shit Mm -hmm. you know like i'm 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 gathering that she loves it yeah you know and like if you're around people that love it and are proud of it Mm -hmm. and are excited to like stay connected to it Mm -hmm. chances are you'll probably want to do the same you know yeah um so i'm a type personally that doesn't believe there is such thing as backwards there's just simply not it's a it's a it's a it's a time space impossibility, yeah, at least for yeah. now. I had so to reframe that for myself. Yeah, there's too. no, yeah. Because, there's no, because back, I thought no I, for, for the longest time, I thought that if I would have gone on a tour with Go anybody other than fucking Justin Timberlake, yeah. it would be a sense of like going backwards, you know? And I hope maybe I am the only one that feels like that. Like, and it may, it sounds a bit spoiled to me. Like when I uh-huh, hear it out uh-huh, loud, uh-huh, you know, when you say it, yeah. And yeah. that's why I check myself, <laughs> you yeah. know, because like, 
I'm like, I don't, I don't need to feel like this. Like I want to be fucking happy. And I want to like, you know, why, why, why get caught up in like the, you know, it is something I battle every day is like getting caught up in like the hustle of like building, 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 climbing, climbing, climbing. But you know, sometimes you can, you can, I mean, against the analogy, you can go back down the ladder and go oh somewhere else too. You know, you're, we, you are in charge of your own ship. Yeah. It, and like, at the end of the day, it don't, it don't matter at all. Yeah. 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 Climbing is only, I'm sure this is somebody else has said this, but climbing is only useful at all if you like stop and look at the view. Mm. And if all you're doing is looking up, mm. it just like fucking hurts after yeah, a while. Yeah. So leveling out, yeah. take a moment for pause and say, actually, I think the vista down at my last stop was, was a better nice. spot. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. more fish in that lake. Let me go down there. More fish in that lake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this very much. Okay, so back to being a lifelong learner. What would you say is the lesson that you're learning right now? This chapter of your life, what, is, what, are, you, what are you being schooled on? That'd be like humility. Shit, mine is being wrong. Like yeah. I can be wrong. Yeah. Like really wrong. Yeah, for sure. Like in front of friends and family, wrong yeah. in a big way, wrong, and, and still and, be okay. And and like yeah, having people like and being open to people telling you that you are wrong and like truly believing somebody else more than yourself as well Whoa. at times, you know? Whoa. Um, like, like trusting that, yeah, I have a blind spot. Yeah. You can see this about yeah, me, but like, I can't. I've been like, I've honestly been saying this in my head all day. Like as I'm walking my dog, or whatever, just like the phrase, like blinded by ambition. Mm. Like, you know, I've just been repeating that in my head. Like, am I blinded by my own ambition? Mm. You know, like I've heard the phrase before, mm -hmm. you know, like, does it apply mm -hmm. for me Is in it, this very moment? What do you think? Potentially. Yeah. Potentially, you know? And I think like, naturally like you're like you're not exempt from a human experience and that's what i'm like realizing like oh you're gonna feel i'm imperfect i'm imperfect as hell it. i'm a work i'm a work in progress and like you know and the but the thing that i do know is that like i just care mm -hmm. you know that's what i that's what it boils down to for me like mm -hmm. i just really do care mm -hmm. um you know and i'm pursuing what i'm pursuing for like at this point at this stage in my, my life for like more reasons than just like to just dance you know like right. you know I, I take into account family like the older you get the more the more you know like pods get thrown in your basket you know and like balance is key as well yes. like that's what i'm learning is like yes staying balanced and you know and but and checking in how do you how do you find balance how do you check in on that uh what's your do you have a technique do i have a technique for staying balanced uh yeah i mean like taking like quiet time like keeps me keeps me balanced like uh getting outside and doing like other activities mm -hmm. keeps me balanced like communicating like how yeah. i how i feel like keeps Real me time. tapped in like do i do the best job at it all the time like no i don't like because life comes quick life moves yeah. fast and and you because get, you're a human who's gonna want to not feel bad and unpack bad feelings yeah. well, you're you're a highly functioning human like yeah. you can like turn off the pain receptor if you really need to oh we've we've gotten very good at ignoring and avoiding yeah. things especially with all these new doodads yeah. it's it's not an issue yeah i mean it becomes an issue quite quick but yeah, it, yeah. people do it all the time for sure yeah and like uh, yeah i'm i think i'm in, in, inherently like pretty tough on myself like yeah. you know so it, it i kind of like scold myself like often um, and also like, I just need to be friendlier to myself and give myself a break, you <laughs> yes. know? Okay. Who would you say that Arden is like a person in your life? Maybe like best friend status or like person yeah. that you care and yeah, try to protect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I have a couple, I've got several, but when I try to monitor my self-talk, I pretend that I am Jillian Myers <laughs> and I just ask myself like, would you say that right. to Jillian fucking Myers? No, right. no, not even on your worst day. And so that's one of the ways I clock at least the self-talk balance is yeah. like, am I, where am I at with me? Yeah. Am I treating myself with kindness? Am mm. I, am I showing up for myself? Like I show up for my friends. Mm. Um, and, and also there are days where I'm also like, wait, how can I show up for my friends better? I've been showing up for me a lot lately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's like divvy that up. But um, balance comes up a lot on the podcast. And I use this analogy because I think dancers are perfect examples of people who are tasked with finding balance often. Mm -hmm. And we do it the same way in life as we do in dance. 
we notice a problem, which is like, oh, you're falling out of your turn to the right. Yeah. Or, oh, you're spending a lot of money on coffee or whatever. And so then you like, oh, okay, okay, let me let me correct. Mm. And usually we wind up overcorrecting, over yeah. which is like, I'm now spending no money on coffee and all I think about <laughs> is coffee and all I want to do is, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, and so I think in dance and in life, we wind up trying a thing, making an observation, trying to correct it, overcorrecting it, and doing that back and forth with little micro adjustments until the thing itself changes or some other circumstance changes and we have a new accommodation to make. And mm -hmm. I think we'll just perpetually be trying to find balance forever. Yeah. And we're good. We're made for it because I think we're critical in some lovely ways. Like we can zoom out on ourselves and say mm -hmm. kind of objectively, Oh yes, I'm falling out to the right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I'm bad. Doesn't mean I'm, well, it does kind of mean I'm doing it wrong. I could do better if I blah. And I think in life, if we can, be technicians a little bit more like mm -hmm. just zoom out and say like oh i've noticed this thing about my pirouette which mm -hmm. is my life i try to make some adjustments and fix it that's that's my technique is to remember that dance lessons are life lessons mm. and yeah, dance sure. is life and they're the same yeah 100 percent. do you think do you think that makes dancers like would you describe dancers as like extremists? as being very balanced oh <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as being like, extremist like like because like oh, you, have to push it, you have to push it all the way one way so you can overcompensate to push it all the way the other way so you know where to find the middle. I do think we're masters of the edge. Yeah. Like, I think we are masters at f of finding or pushing our edge. So, yeah. Yeah. I think, I think in dance and in life. Yeah. Like, I feel that way. Like, I feel like I'm quite an extremist. Like, if I love something, I fucking really, love, really love it. it. Like, I will walk to the end of the earth yes. for it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, to my last, like, flange falls off you know wait like for example what what do you get into that hard uh, other than dance i mean like when i was into baking oh like, my god that's right you know like i mean anything any like yeah you go like, hard with things doing things yeah, yeah. And, like learning trades like, well i become obsessed yeah. trades and and ideas like uh potential trades i know you're you're an entrepreneur in the true sense of the word i don't i i've never known you to be only a one thing it isn't to say that you don't go deep, mm. but you've never just been like Max the Dancer in mm -hmm. my mind. Sure. You're Max the Dancer, the athlete, the idea guy, the enthusiasm guy, the mm. funny guy. Like you're, you, we all have these many different hats, mm -hmm. but I know that you have a knack for business. I know that you have a knack for filling, like seeing a void in the, we'll call it market, mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> and then filling it. Mm. Like, oh, there's a need. Has anybody else noticed? Like, this doesn't exist yet. We should make it this, that, mm. and and then have that thing. I don't think that that's a, a uniquely dancer trait. I think that's a uniquely Max trait. Mm. Has that always been a part, or would you say that you identify as that? Is, uh, am I off, yeah, off I, I, de I definitely, like, I would say, like, yeah, I identify with, like, multiple things. Uh -huh. Like, I think my scope as, like, a, a person, like, I'm pretty well-versed in, like, a Business multitude. and artist. Yeah, and like funny it and doesn't, dead it serious doesn't mean i'm the absolute best at them of course yeah. no but like can i speak like relatively fluently in multiple like languages mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. like you know in yeah in in an athletic space or like yeah in a business in a business space because i think that like i think the world is quite that life is quite simple like yeah. that at the core of like any and this is maybe because my dad's an engineer or you know it's uh. like kind of like an engineering mindset like all things like work uh, similarly like like an etch a sketch like needs to work somehow and yeah. to be able to like uh, uh make an etch a sketch work for you you have to learn like how it functions yeah you know in the same way like a record player like yeah. how does it function yeah. like there's like there's how does certain, it turn on yeah how does things, the mechanism move yeah there's how things does that it... you can man use to manipulate this thing so let me start there you yeah. know so yeah i, th I think that I think that my scope Very of interest pragmatic. is pretty wide, you know. Um, but well, yeah, scope of interest wide, but also ability to see things as simple, as small, as digestible. Mm. That I think mm. is what stops a lot of people who have a lot of diverse interests. Mm. It just all seems so overwhelming, and how could I ever learn all the ways and all mm. the things? And I think you have a way of making things simple and digestible. Yeah, I think you digestible. can learn anything. Like if you really want to learn it, you know. Like I, because I learned how to dance off of YouTube, like which a lot of people did. You know, that's true. Like, that's true. It's, you can learn anything. Like you can teach yourself how to bake. You can teach yourself like, you know, like neuroscience. You could like 
physics, astrophysics, yeah. like, you know. You Especially can, today. It's a information yeah. age. Yeah. Easy, yeah. You just have to, to like, choose. To yeah. You just have to choose what it is that you want to do right now. Okay. Holy you know? shit. Holy shit. You opened that can of worms. What is it that you are choosing to do right now? You didn't actually finish the Tanache story. Are you going to go? Uh, so... I know this just in like hot, fresh off I mean, the I, press. I think this is public knowledge. Uh, well, the tour ended up getting canceled. Oh, um, okay, okay. Which was again a lesson, Got like it. you know. But I think it, I think it'll be re- rescheduled for uh, uh, top of the year next okay. year. So um, I think that's a bridge that we'll get crossed. Like, yeah, cross when, it when, when you we come get to there. It. You know? Okay, tight. Um, but we're still doing a project. Like we're still doing stuff. Like you know, I think. Who's at the helm of that choreographically? Shay nice yeah. <gasps> yeah that's why that's why i went because i was like come fan, on obviously like yeah you know i was like i'm just trying to dance like let me like learn from this guy what because i had a conversation with myself, with myself i was like do i think that like if i'm in the room with this dude do i believe that i can be of cert- assistance to him mm-hmm. absolutely yeah. let's go yeah you know and that was it and that's and all I that up, thought was all you needed shit. i picked up my shit and i went and i was like yeah let's go i love that yeah. thought do i think i can be of service here yeah. If yes, then like, yes, could go. He be- could he benefit from like me being in the room with like whatever my natural expertise or like uh, uh, go get is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Like, mm-hmm. Let me go. Yeah. You know, I'm now seeing the, the, the thought error in that way of thinking or in, cur- in, in encouraging outsiders to adopt a certain belief is that like it is to think that you have something to offer for a lot of people is already a hurdle Mm, in and of mm. itself. And you have this trust and this life experience that says, yes, you do have something to offer, but there are people out there who've never been on world tours Mm. who in order to get themselves in that room would need to think a different thought. Mm. I talk a lot about the difference between task based confidence and self confidence. Mm. Task based confidence obviously implies that you've done this task so many times Mm. that you gain confidence in it. Mm -hmm. And for you, and that might be dancing on tour. Mm-hmm. You know that you can do this. You've proven to yourself and to other people that you can do this. But how could somebody walk into a world tour audition with the same full confidence mm-hmm. if they had Having never, never done, done it? it right. And that's self-confidence, which I believe is mm. simply a willingness to feel any feeling. Mm. Willing mm. to feel stupid, willing to feel yeah. sexy, willing to feel embarrassed, mm-hmm. willing to feel ashamed or guilty or any of the spectrum. They Side by side, Somebody who's auditioned for seven world tours in book six will carry themselves a certain way. Mm. And somebody who's willing to feel any fucking feeling on earth will look shockingly similar side by side of it. Yeah, for sure. So I, yeah, yeah, well, I'll I'll throw that little career coaching bone in there. But on the subject of auditions, I'm always fascinated by the self-talk that happens Mm. And it sounds like you found yourself a thought that was like not only good enough to get you in the room, but kept you kind of on fire. Yeah, I, for think the process. I think it comes in. I mean, maybe like I'm curious what you what you think, but I think like I think it comes in waves too. like, you know, even after, confidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like even after having done X, Y and Z, you know, like some days I feel like. I, I shouldn't even just leave. I shouldn't even leave the house because don't nobody want me to be here. Like every class I teach, I honestly like again, I tell my lady about it like. Like sometimes I just feel like nobody's going to show up to like mm-hmm. a class that I teach because mm-hmm. I'm like, do I have anything to offer? I have to like coach myself, yeah. you know, and I have to like, you know, and maybe that takes like consistency over time, like, uh, to like believe, but I think that's just p- a part of being a creative part of it. Is, it's, it's part, part of, of being, being a human. human. Yes. Yeah, like, but there is such thing as like, I, I think that beliefs are simply sentence, like thoughts, just sentences in your head that you've thought long enough mm. that you hold them to be true. Mm-hmm. It's just like choreography. The more you rehearse a thought, the better you will get at thinking it mm-hmm. until you hold it as a belief. And if you think for a long time, which your entire life existence of being a dancer was like, people might not come, people might not come, people might not come, that thought got trained. Mm. So of course your brain tends towards picking that up quicker than it picks up class is going to be packed today right (laughs) you just haven't thought that thought as often so part of it's as simple as that and then there's the whole societal thing which is like we are encouraged to be humble and not encouraged to be too full of yourself Mm -hmm. so there's other kind of pressures and forces at place to keep you from stepping out of the house like that all the time Mm -hmm. it's good to have a little doubt because then you also get more problem 
solvy focused about it like what yeah. if no one comes yeah. to class blah, blah, blah. Yeah, versus I think it's everything's gonna be great all the time yeah it, there leaves a lot of room for things to go wrong yeah but it is it's interesting for me to hear specifically about the class thing because i battle with this a lot just now or just recently having committed to a weekly class which mm. is something i resisted for a long time mm -hmm. all the time doubting the value of well i take that back not doubting the value of what I bring, but doubting if there is room or interest for interest. exactly that thing. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, uh, yeah. every time, I think what it boils Tuesday. down to is, yeah, I think like, and this is, yeah, something that I've like, I'm learning and something that I uh, am encouraging for like some of the people that I like, the clients that I work with, like I choreograph for, like, if you love it, people will love it. Yeah. You know, like I think like that's kind of like the North Star. It's mm -hmm. like like if you want to share something because it's on your heart and like you want to create a podcast because you want to share, people will listen. Yes. And hundred and ninety some odd episodes later. Oh my god. You know, here you yes. are. Dope. I'm very proud. Dope. I yeah, having a strong reason for something. Love Purpose. Yeah. I think I think of love as a feeling that I feel in my body and I can choose it at any time. But this like purpose is a sentence thing. Mm. Love is like a feeling in my body thing, and a, and a purpose like having a strong why for the podcast is a sentence thing. Mm. I can what definitely do you mean it's a it's a sentence in my head that makes me feel proud mm. to sit down in this chair, mm. or that makes me feel focused enough to write her an email, to put on the headphones, to do the thing, to schedule of this. Da, 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 da. Like I I don't feel in love with like the work of podcast doesn't make me feel love sure it's thinking choreographers and dancers should be seen and heard mm. that sentence yeah is what lands me here yeah yeah and so like remembering that the flow and this is again we're getting very coachy but the flow goes thought feeling action mm. not action feeling like there's no mm -hmm. action that you can take that mm. will guarantee a certain feeling. Right. You're a perfect example. I'm sure everybody listening is like, what? Max gets nervous about TJ, about who's going to come to class. I've never even taught at Millennium ever, let alone blah, 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 blah. Like it's, y you can always feel self-doubt. Sure. No matter how many packed out classes you have sold, mm -hmm. no matter how many tours you have done, self-doubt will always be an option mm -hmm. because it comes from this, not from the bullets, not yeah. from the actions, not from your you know, not, not from your behavior. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's the nuts and bolts of it's called the type of coaching that I trained in is called cognitive behavioral therapy, mm -hmm. which assumes that there are neutral facts of the world. You think thoughts about them, your thoughts make you feel your feelings, take you to action mm -hmm. and your actions give you the results of your life. Right. But it's so human to think that if I went on tour, then I could feel successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if, you know, if I sold 25 sold out classes, then I would stop doubting myself. Mm -hmm. It's not true. It's just not true. But yeah. our brain will always offer it. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. Can we jump into a, a segment of the show I call wrist roll with it? This is yeah. a burnout round of questioning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Earliest memory of a music video. Go. Usher. Yeah. Wow. 6 a.m. before basketball practice in sixth grade or okay. seventh grade. Okay. Uh, and specifically, yeah. uh, specifically the lyric when he goes, um, she's, da, 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 she's a certified 20, boom, clap. And he goes, and he goes, two, boom, and he makes 20. And you were like, And I was like, what is, it, what is it? It was his five to 10. Yeah, something said, five to 10, she's a certified 20, boom. Cat. It is five to 10. Yeah. Correct. I remember like that musicality, two, cat. It was after he said the word 20. Uh -huh. And he goes, certified 20, two. Dude, that just ain't me. And he, and he held it there yeah. to let it sit and on I'm your, like, on I'm your like, eyeballs. Oh, he made the he made the number twenty with his hands. Yeah. So that's your early that memory of me. of, yeah. of music video, but also choreography. Yeah. That's when you were like, oh, moves musicality to make a message. Musicality, musicality. yeah. yeah, mu yeah. Woo, love that. Yeah. Favorite step, go. Uh. Oh, I know. Mine's a pot of beret. Go. Uh, I mean, or a Ronda Shop. Shit, it's hard to choose. Uh, <laughs> do it if it's if you have it <laughs> scoop out hop <laughs> yeah. good call yeah i use Re it a lot in my really good house. call yeah okay okay uh least favorite move 
Least favorite move. Uh, to to see or to dance. An offbeat. Anything. Lock or lock in. Okay. So there was a <laughs> lot of locking Yikes. influence in class last night. Locking or? L- locking. Locking. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you for the distinction. Very different. Um, and I noticed when I teach locking or elements of it, I, I teach that you can there, you can sit into it a couple of different ways. You can really wrist with it, or you can kind of elbow, elbow with it, shit. where the wrist more or less stays the same, but uh-huh. the elbows rotate. I noticed last night <laughs> the pause, <laughs> like a very frontal <laughs> paw. <laughs> I I kept looking at it only because it was kind of like watching a car Classic. accident. Like <laughs> it was very hard to not look at. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people think that the lo- the wrists in locking mm-hmm. are paws. Yeah. And it's I'm gonna have to spend time with why it isn't. I mean it's so nuanced, like 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 the just the body positioning mm-hmm. of a lock mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is funky. Mm-hmm. Like like and and you have to be willing to go there and like really sit in a hip to feel it and look okay, like it. But it's you know? so important that when we say sit in a hip, that we know that you don't mean arch your back and sit into a hip. Because I think that's actually what bothered me the most about the kitten paws <laughs> is that they came with like an arched back, like boom, boom, arch hey. versus boom, boom, tuck, Ooh. which is really what it, when you sit in a hip, it's with a C shaped spine, my right, friends. Right. So anyways, the false, the, fa- oh, the man. I just all night long, I was like, there it is again. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. Another one. It was just so fundamentally like I didn't like, I don't even, I come from a generation age wise, but I didn't like, I wasn't a part of like a massive community. I was just, I kind of saw Boise, myself, Idaho. Yeah. It's just like this lone ranger kind of like acquiring, like, like, like foraging bushels of like flavor and, yeah, and, and berries and, along and, the way, like yeah. of little nuggets of like, Oh, this is like what this looks like. And this is how like this group of people does it. Nice. And this is what this looks like. And this is how this crew, this group of people be boying all these different like styles. Mm-hmm. And, but like for me, like how I came up, which is normal, the way I like discovered dance, like organically, like mm-hmm. just from watching, not mm-hmm. from somebody teaching me. Yeah. Like just from literally showing up and like being at like jams and like events and parties and battles and just mm-hmm. watching. Um, fundamentally, like every freestyle dancer knows everybody can break, everybody can pop, everybody has respect for locking mm-hmm. you know like it was just kind of like right passage yeah it's you baseline. start with the six step that's mm-hmm. where you learn like start like that's your entryway into hip hop the six step you maybe you learn how to do a freeze and then like you know and every but and then like so it just like when i was growing up every yeah everybody just had an understanding of like flavor i'll tell you, you what know? those people we're not it's just in class different. It's just different. <laughs> <laughs> not all of them. I, there, was, there was some it's funky diff- cats. It's just different but... now. You know, knowledge is attained in different ways. Like, yeah. you know, like I think arguably like communities, not the same as what it once was. You well, know? oh, this is very interesting. Ooh, new thesis. Mm. Also, there's a difference between learning a dance two dimensionally on a screen and learning it in person. Mm. And the shape, especially if you're watching locking straight on, you can't tell if my back is arched or tucked. But it, a lot of what I learned was on a screen. Like, uh, you learned like, it on I a screen. I studied. Like, well, you I, also were social with it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I would perform, like, on, like, street corners and stuff. But, like, my... You what, learned from YouTube. Where I, I learned yeah. everything. Okay, I okay, sat okay. and I flipped everything in my, okay, on my debunked. mind. Literally, Theory like, debunked. ate dinner, go to school, come home, go to practice, come back, eat dinner, and just, like, like scour the internet this new youtube thing for like just videos yes like little moments in music videos yes like yes yes omarion flipping his leg and like this little thing and like just running it back running it back and like yeah and just in really icebox? really analyzing uh no not icebox in oh uh when he did you not gonna tell you what to do oh it sounded like uh, i was here for a second uh is it O? Yeah, I think it's an O mm-hmm. at the end of mm-hmm. O. it's like a solo dance like mm-hmm. clip of him mm-hmm. um we're but, back. Sorry, sorry. But like analyzing, like yes. really analyzing, like, and I think that you watch things a million times. Yeah, and you like, did but the like, all in but thing. But just like being like being detail oriented, like like okay. I I find like that I miss it a lot of times, like from students, like uh-huh. in class sometimes, like like 
like for i don't know if it's the way i was raised or what but like if you do something i can you pretty, scan i can pretty much capture most of what you're doing yeah you know i won't just like throw away like 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 the shape of my spine yeah like, or like if something I'm contracted that's so massively like obvious that that what you're doing like, yeah oh yeah i see it okay uh-huh. you know whereas like yeah, now the scan thing is not intrinsic not everybody it does feels it like, like that. it feels like extremity driven right and not like and not like everything driven right i don't know I don't well know. said i think that that is a critical takeaway and anybody that is a student of max's or otherwise yeah, like could, with my stuff my fo- stuff like is so ch- nuanced like like yeah. even like a michael walk like Go. a Shot, the, teach, shot, uh, uh, kick uh, land, a kick dance land. move that i hate to see is yes. a michael walk done poorly improperly. i'll tell you exactly what like, it is but it I'll is kind of exactly difficult what it is. <laughs> to see it, it. Is difficult too. Let's go but see here's, it. here's what makes it right is the forward hey. motion and here's what people do wrong backwards yeah right leg kicks land, and and instead of going forward they go Back, yeah, back. yeah, you're so, doing that really well. I've seen you're doing it. that really I've well. Seen it, the, yeah, the, the incorrect version. Yeah, it's the, I'm post- a master. the posture too. <laughs> you know, like yeah. Oh, and there's a bounce. Yeah, I and like the and like the want to like the cool of it. Yes. You know, like oh the cool god. is like so obvious. Oh my god. The cool is so fucking obvious. It's so like, obvious. Just be cool. <laughs> Don't even just stop trying. Just be fucking oh cool. Oh my god. Let me tell you, as yeah. a person who wasn't cool for a really long I'm not time, cool. to be told I'm not you could cool. be cool is so frustrating. Yeah, I'm not like trust, I'm not cool. I'm Listen, a I feel like geeky n- nerd, like I'm everything but cool. But like I but don't know. analyze. You're, you're you know, I don't cool. know. I don't but mean, I don't well know. what you're trying to say is like be smart. Yeah. Be an engineer about it. Yeah. Look at the math of what's happening. Yeah. Is the top of my head bouncing or is it staying level? Mm-hmm. Is the momentum of my energy going forward yeah. or back? Is my left leg straight or bent? Are my knees straight or bent? The answer's bent. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Almost always. Um, for me, anyways. For funk. For funk's sake. Uh, but yeah. Okay. This is good. We are no longer wrist rolling with it. And you oh. brought me to a new question. Okay. Favorite YouTube video? I know. Ooh. I know. It's it's Ooh. wrong of me to even oh, ask. Yeah, buddy. Favorite YouTube video? You could give me three. I'd settle for top three. Uh, crushing Grapes. Have you seen that? Yes. The grape oh stomping. Oh my God. It's been way where they, too where they fall, Where he falls over the yes. thing. And, like, uh, 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 yeah. and you hear the whimpers off yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that one's a That is a video. gift. Such a gift of the internet. Uh, but like staying dance centric. Uh I would say, I mean, like, shoot, I could freaking fire off so many. Uh, like First two that come to your mind, they won't be offended. Uh, uh, Taeyang music video, Where You At, featuring Sean Evaristo and La Baniga. Yes. Um, the all white and all black. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, um, thank you. I mean, anything from like OG, OG, like Marty days, yeah. but like the company. Yes. The company. Yes. Uh, big fan of like uh um jason rolera nice. like era like yes where they put he was always the anchor at the end because he's so clean and his musicality is so clear so clean um like i mean the yeah. pat cruises like you know a lot of body rock videos come to mind yeah like just like big dance on a stage wide uh any like i mean it was all a lot of it was like so you think you can dance like so oh clips, yes but like cedric gardner okay you remember him yeah, I remember uh, that. I think he's from Milwaukee, um, but like his, he was like, see, like one of the first like three seasons of, of So You Think, freestyler, insane, yeah. like just weird, crazy yeah. open body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I would watch him like constantly because he was so weird, but like I so will dope. have to go revisit that because I'm not he's recalling insane. any specific. Yeah. Um. Uh, also, like any of the n- notorious IBE popping battles nice with uh with like uh far side and like bionic um any of the IBE the notorious IBE 2009 breaking battle featuring like little chico like like lilu like the okay. team usa versus like the all-stars okay. IBE all-stars okay like, that stuff's insane one of my favorite youtube videos ever period the end is hilti and bosh with Kuthko doing such, like popping and it's like the best example of the mm. difference between popping and locking and mm-hmm. then the marriage of yeah, popping and yeah, locking. It's yeah. one, of my, one of my favorite things. Yeah. Um, yeah, he'll sing Bosch. Um, okay, you get to collaborate with anybody, living or dead, who is it? Creatively? Yep, period. I mean, there has to be, there's one that like can be said and gets thrown out, 
because it's so obvious, but Michael. Okay. Uh, I mean, Fred Astaire. Nice. Like, but like Some... outside of like dance and performance, like collaboration. Oh man. Do you have something? You have I something do. I have one. It's kind of a sad, kind of a sad, um, you just, you invited me, because I always try to answer these questions for myself. You invited me to zoom out of the dance sphere, dance and entertainment sphere, and I went to the art world. Um, there's an artist called Robert Irwin, mm-hmm. uh, and he recently passed away mm. at 95. And he has a book called Seeing is Forgetting the Name of the Thing that One Sees, which is a mouthful. But the book is that. Seeing is forgetting the name of the thing that one sees. Seeing is forgetting the name of the thing that one sees. Yes. Ah. And his work is much to do with light. Mm. And so it makes sense that vision and perception of, of objects or non-objects, like he's got fully s- sculptures that are just light that aren't sculptures at all, but mm. you, your eyeball sees as sculpture Mm -hmm. um he's also famous for having designed the gardens at the getty center Mm. fascinating human and i think i would like him somebody that i enjoy uh i think it was uh tichi uh and antonio tichi okay uh i i i almost like sure i'm getting his name wrong but he do you remember the burberry ad um where they're flying through the snow uh through the snow but like the fields like oh. there's four of them and like yes like he gets yes, whipped yes, yes. and he's like his belly's up to the sky yes yes, going, yes 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 and it's like crouching tiger hidden dragon type, yeah. of, type of vibes um he's the, he was the creative director for burberry for long for the longest time cool um and just had a really really dope and deep appreciation for movement yeah but he's actually incredible his story is like insane like his wow. upbringing like raised by like you know in a home full of like strong women and like so his lens on like fashion and like and like visual art is, I think, just like really, really like astounding. Tight. Um, I'll yeah, there's his, a like, collaboration there. I, I think you have a great eye for <sighs> the way something feels. Like, I think dancers, mm. you feeling, must feel a certain feeling way. First for me. It's feeling first. Like, so I, I think that. Uh, a collaboration with somebody from a fashion world, they'd be informed by your knowledge of feeling. Mm. You'd be informed by their knowledge of all the yeah. things that yeah. fashion it's be has. Feeling, feeling, feeling is what you remember. Yeah, you remember how something like you remember when people are gone. You remember how they made you feel, Facts. not what not what they did for you. Yes, you know. Like, and feeling can, as we talked about before, lead to action or inaction. Yeah, wearing a certain thing that limits my mobility limits my action, mm-hmm. limits my behavior in the world. No, mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me, these pants are a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> they're not great sitting pants. They look pants. great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, they're not the worst, but you know. Uh, okay, two, three more, really, really quick. Mm-hmm. Favorite word? <gasps> Greatness. Nice. Least favorite word? Can't. Mm-hmm. Least favorite word is can't. Okay, these are solid answers. Final question What are the words that move you the most? How you do anything is how you do everything. Mm. Pressure is a privilege. Billie Jean King. Wow. Okay. Love that. Um, it's a big one. That's a big one. And one like one that I said on the show on the on the on Dance One Hundred. Like I couldn't think of like what I wanted to say. Uh-huh. So I said I was in a fraternity in college. So I said my fraternity motto, which is don't suck, don't quit, which is like <laughs> it's still cool. It's still but it's like something cool that like I would say with you. Real. You know, yeah. it's like don't suck, don't quit, you know? Like, but I remember I said that like on camera. They're like, "What's your mantra?" I'm like, ah, "Don't suck, don't quit." I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> it's uh, so good. But my my biggest one at the moment uh, is um, yeah, is how you do everything. Is how you do any anything. Is how you do everything. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. thank you for that reminder. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate let's, it. Let's let's do brunch soon. Yeah, sweet butter. Yes, Shout please. Shout out sweet butter. Shout out sweet butter. Right on. Yeah. Okay, right. you, you, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you love the podcast, subscribe, click the bell. That's the thing I learned how to say. Right, where is it? It's over there somewhere. Oh, wait, it's over there. <laughs> it's right, it's right here. <laughs> it's right there. Uh. Um, thank you, thank you. Get out into the world, keep it funky. And for the love of God, tuck your pelvis when you lock and just, it just,
try to not and breathe. go and go somewhere when you walk go somewhere when you walk don't just, don't, don't, just, don't scoot it back just walk in place man yeah just be cool just be cool just go be that cool. go that way yeah go <laughs> go travel yeah okay bye yeah. all right ah. peace this podcast was produced by me with the help of many. Big, big love to our executive assistant and editor, Riley Higgins. Our communications manager is Ori Vajadares. Our music is by Max Winnie. Logo and brand design by Bree Reitz. Thumbnails and marketing by Fiona Small. You can make your tax-deductible donations to Words That Move Me, thanks to our fiscal sponsor, the Dance Resource Center. And also, many thanks to you. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're digging the pod, please share it leave a review and rating. And if you want to coach with me and the many marvelous members of the Words That Move Me community, visit wordsthatmoveme.com. If you're simply curious to know more about me and the work I do outside of this podcast, visit thedanawilson.com.